Thanks, mate. That's all right, enjoy your day. See you later. <laughs>so just rocked up here at Taralgan. Gonna go have a look in this shed at this car that's in here and yeah. What's going on here? So I've just walked in here to see what these boys are up to. We've got Mike here from Mike Shot and Braden. What are we up to Mike? Keeping the cameraman hydrated. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had one of these before. What's it like? I don't drink them either. Tastes like beer. <laughs> the only thing you'll catch Mike with in his hand. <laughs> Hopefully they sponsor my race team one day. I've been an avid enthusiast and supporter of their business since I was 18. When I walked in just before, the boys just pulled this apart. What happened there? Well, this one, it, um, what we call grenaded. Long story short, floating piston in here separates the oil and the gas. It cavitated or the O-rings failed. We've not done these shocks before, so this is the first time we've opened them. Gas pressure mixes in with the oil and it becomes like a Coke can or a turkey <laughs> Wild can. Wild turkey. <laughs> As the shock heats up, it'll dramatically change how the shock handles just because the pressure will change inside us. And also, when it's separated, there is no bubbles. That oil's clean. Yeah, it's just yeah. flowing up and down. There you go. And what kind of shock's this? This, this is obviously a, a King. This is a King 3.5 uh, bypass shock. It's off the front of this get buggy. Cookie just bought it off a bloke locally, so he's just asked us to come down and reset it all. We're going to respring it, revalve it. So as for you, like, what most of you probably know, there are only like twos and two. 5s, this is a 3.5, so that is a big shock. Well, the rears are 4.5. That's the that's the <laughs> that's the front. The so the rear the rears are even bigger. So what's yeah. the rears? Rears are four and a half inch. Four and a half inch yeah, shocks. Half I've inch. got two point fives in my ear. They're only little, they look big compared to everyone else's mm, they shocks do. on the road. Not compared to this though. When we revalve your shocks, you can put them next to each other later. <laughs> yeah. We are gonna revalve or we're gonna service. We thought we were just gonna revalve. We just weren't <laughs> sure that they needed a service, but they do. They do now. So we'll revalve back to a starting setup and we'll respring the car into a a flat ground setup. What does that mean when you race bringing a flat ground setup? Depending on what track you're at, you want X amount of ground clearance, bump clearance. You want the thing to have not too much preload, like a car that's sprung so, too heavy. So when you say you're race bringing it to a flat ground, you're race bringing it to the perfect ground. No, it's on, on a, a flat, flat ground. On a flat ground. It's, it's just what I call it a flat ground setup. And find some concrete. And you're springing this to sit at the correct height for yeah. all the bump stops and all the travel and everything correct, to be right. Correct. So. Because it's like it's if you go out there everything's sitting too low uh, all the shocks are position sensitive the springs they work differently with different amounts of load on them yeah um, yeah so you just got to get it sitting at the right height so cookie's bought this car yeah and he doesn't know what it's been set up as well no so he, he bought it it's been yeah. raced for a long time i've looked after cookie's two-time australian side-by-side -side champion he's got his he's a gun cookie's a gun he's fast a so what's this he's actually one thing in the, in the side-by-sides yeah so like he's two-time australian side-by-side champion he's only pretty new to the sport he's a moto racer but he's coming guns blazing he's shown a lot of people how to drive me included he's just bought the car and Mike's come all the way down here from Queensland. Long to, drive. Like, it, was, it was very, very comfortable in the all-terrain warriors truck. In his big truck. So yeah. he's drove his truck down with all his valving tools, everything with the him. The workbench. The whole workbench. Down to tune this car in Victoria for cookies. And also, um, we're going to valve the shocks in my ute and take it for a run too. Go and jump it. Go and jump it. So this is the man, the myth here. What am I calling you? Cookie. Cookie, yeah, that'll do. You can follow us on um, James Cook 601 on Instagram and James Cook on Facebook, so yeah, give us a follow. Give him a follow. Obviously, you can drive a car better than all of us. The so. no. <laughs> <laughs> This weekend is all about getting these shocks dialed in. We've got the boys from Mike Shock Shop finally come down all the way from uh, Queensland to sunny Victoria for the weekend. We'll try and tune this thing up and, you know, see if we can uh, get it to handle, which will make it good over the bumps for round one. And then, what, well, we're going to take it out. you got a spot, obviously, around here. Yep, so we got a bit of uh, bit of private property to go to tomorrow morning. We've got about 600 acres of sand, um, sand whoops, and we can take the machines out there and push up some big bumps if need be and open some tracks up. So it's a 
will be the first proper drive I've had in it and yeah, we're in good hands with the boys looking after us getting this thing dialed in. The boys in here, they've got all the shocks back in the car. We've got Dan here. It's a gold youth turn, isn't it? Special guest. We've got Dan Kisler in today, tonight. Just uh, just showing him how it's done, you know? Showing us just how it's done. He lives, keeping an eye on it. He lives just around the corner, so he come in to say good day. Dan's actually got YouTube. What's his My name, I suppose. His name on <laughs> Daniel YouTube. Kisler. Daniel Kisler on That's YouTube. It. Dan's into, into cool winch trucks and stuff. He's a patrol man, so you won't see him in my ute. Yeah, we had to turn the camera off when I went driving before. Yeah. <laughs> out here pulling the shocks out of my ute. Braden's going to revalve them for me, so got the rock lights on. Oh, I got me king chrome tools. Taxing your job on. <laughs> got the right bikes on the go, you reckon? Oh, promoting it all. So like Braden's just got one apart. Oh, I've missed it, but he's going through all the shims yeah, yeah. now. I'll come back. Secret Braden business, huh? <laughs> Secret Braden business. <laughs> yeah. I will. The magic, the magic. We get me and Dan are going to go rip the front ones out, and we'll come back. Braden's, I'll supervise. Braden's going to sing out when he's doing the next one, so I can show you. <laughs> There's no zinger boxes under there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Done the easy ones first. Yeah. This one's a bit harder. Still hunting for a zinger box. Yeah, there's none under the front either. Should have brought a rattle gun. <laughs> a few more horsepower than us, and I don't want to use up all your battery memory. Nah, I got a battery that plugs into it. It's a creator pack. Yeah, yeah, because you're a big creator now. Creator pack for the big creator. <laughs> Ready to create content. I'm a bloody influencer now. Influenza. Need some ratchet on that spanner. King Chrome. Send him some ratchet spanner. Drop him at the Emu KFC. <laughs> they breed them weak in Emu, don't they? This is a pay rise pad, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't understand how a shock works or comes apart, we're going to pull this one apart and revalve it. Brain's a pro. He does this every day, so he's going to make it look really easy for you. <laughs> Braden's just finished tuning the shocks in the pro buggies, just revalved all them. So, you know, he's doing the ones for the old farm truck. So that's your rebound stack. So that's your rebound shim stack on the top. And that's piston. The piston. And then your compression stack on the bottom there. Compression stack. And Braden's already done one of these. They were pretty heavy, weren't they? They were correct, yeah. You're very heavy. For something with nothing in the back. Yeah, yeah, so. You can talk, it doesn't matter. Why? It makes it now all awkward now as they're all looking at me. And I'm, <laughs> the shim stacks were very heavy. Obviously, my ute's got an aluminium tray on the back and it's pretty light, so Braden's going to put some lighter valving in it and hopefully it's going to ride a lot smoother. So he's just measuring them all up with the verniers, seeing how thick they are. These are the old ones or you're on the These new ones? These are the new ones. These are the new ones. Getting it progressively softer and. Yep. Yeah, have little sharp bumps and whatnot. Walk her up and there you go. So just putting a bit of pressure in to hold the floating piston at the end. Yeah, okay. Get the right amount of oil in the, in the shock so it doesn't blow out. So, so he doesn't spill oil everywhere. So you can see the oil coming up through the boot screw. Just like kind of plunging all better flow. Yeah. <laughs> now what you just do her all back up. And yeah, just clean it out, back together and so gas yeah, her up. Clean it out, put it all back together, and then he'll give it to me and I can put it back in the ute. And look out. How's the Don't timing? Don't be working on your nugget. <laughs> How do you feel working on a Land Cruiser? Not good. So Dan's just ripped out one of the front ones while I've been over here taking videos. <laughs> what a good man. The out of towner comes in, <laughs> shocks get built, shocks get pulled out. <laughs> There's a royalty here. Sweet, I'll go pull the other one out then. Rare footage of patrol man working on a Land Cruiser. It's the first and last time <laughs> it's gonna happen. You like his or King Shock? So what happens when you hang around influencers? <laughs> If it didn't have King Shocks, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Mate, you, you do the bottom, I'll do the top. <laughs> all right. I'm just the tools bringer. The TA, mate. <laughs> Don't whistle too hard, I might get copyright. <laughs> <laughs> just letting the gas go so we can get it out a bit easier. Good man. And Dan have got the good job here of just watching. So we have to put him back in. The Raiden's just pulling apart one of the front ones to have a look. Gonna soften it up a little bit. It's just telling him that I've jumped it a few times and I've never hit the bump stop. <laughs> so probably a bit <laughs> stiffer bit than it needs to be. It's been great for jumping, but it's not really what I'm uh, intending to do. 
probably rather the ride comfort. <laughs> Still hunting for zinger boxes. There's no under here. A couple of king shocks though. Someone put a four link in the road. Who would think that's a good idea? Use my big strong Aussie boy arms. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I had it going. She'll go now. She'll go. <laughs> Sorry, Bray. We're too weak. <laughs> Oh, I'm so strong. Look, I can do it with one hand. I was ducked down the street and had a quick zinger box. So I come back to have another go. You're like Popeye with the spinach, but with zinger boxes. <laughs> yeah. I thought you spin. said you were strong. Get the persuader onto it. Funny looking hammer. Does King Cram need to send you a hammer, mate? <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> I'm really making this look That's hard. That's not a hammer. <laughs> Anything's a hammer if you want it to. Be. That's it. Loaded up and set to go. We are heading to Golden Beach. Cookie's got a mate there with some private property, some big open land, sand, whoops, you know, everything that they need to test the suspension in the car. So, gonna be a really good day. Cookie's up front leading the way. I've got Mike in front of me, and then Cookie's old man has joined in. He's behind me in a tipper and he's got a bobcat on the back and an RZR. He's going to push up a couple of jumps or whoop or whatever we need to test the car. So really keen to see. My ute's riding so good at the moment. These valving changes that they made last night have made a like dramatic difference. Just on the highway, like all those sharp little hits and stuff, they've managed to take them out, just soften it up, change the rebound, change the compression a bit. So I'm going to take my ute for a burn around this track and have a bit of a feel because if I want to get my ute riding good, now's the time. getting set up what's the plan for today uncle mike we finished a like a setup last night re-sprung it and i think we're just gonna get cookie to put some miles on it and see how it handles his midnight last night went to bed for a few hours and <laughs> now we're back now we're yeah. out here so cookie's gonna take it for a heap of burns around this what would you call it a paddock well i think there's a like a national moto loop on it so i think there's some bad income whoops i think there's some rough corners i think there's some fast straights and we'll just take it for a drive and see what it does make a few changes Loyal woke me up and said I testified it I was right out of my mind Let the record show I did it off the rock and roll Screaming every night Playing 20 by the lights So somebody please Keep me the hell out of San Quentin Out of San Quentin Just keep me out of San Quentin What's the plan, Mike? A couple of little tweaks? Yeah, I um, am going to just adjust one of his bypass tubes, give it a little bit more bleed, open that up as the bee's dick to see if we can't get the back wheel moving. A tiny one-eighth quarter turn, and when you see a tube with the diameter that big, it, you'd be blown away at how much more oil volume passes through the tube around the piston. So it softens it up a fair bit. Right, tell us what you've been hitting. Yeah, we got the camo. What's the go? Taking the old boy for a bit of a run, bloody. <laughs> He's in the wrong seat. Yeah, that's right. So he says. Don't yeah. worry, I'd fucking give it a reference. He could probably handle it better than me. <laughs> so he's going to go for another run, and what are you going to come through these biggest? Yeah, we'll come back through, come down here, come back around, and we'll try this deeper section and then go for a bit of a lap around, and um, then we'll bring it back to the shed and have a bit of an assessment. Sounds like a plan. <laughs>
bin the drone <laughs> over there. Brado said he's gonna swim over there and get it. <laughs> it's out of the water, but we can't even see it. What do you got there, mate? You found it. I've got it. We're taking lessons from Mac Preston. <laughs> I wonder if I got the shot. <laughs> Like they're pretty happy with how the car's riding. They were planning to work on this car for about three days straight, and they've basically nearly got it right first go, so we might get to go to the pub early. Slight issue. Truck's bogged. <laughs> oh, bloody 100 PSI club. <laughs> Didn't their bloody air down. I reckon he hit it hard enough. <laughs> well, we'll get him out and he can go have a run up yeah. and have another go. Get a run up at it. <laughs> well, I tried hooking my winch on and my isolator's decided not to work today, so we're hooking Mike's truck up. How do you fucking do this? Oh, boy! <laughs> Leatherman gets her done, eh, Mike? Leatherman? Man, I wish I had one. Trust the old Leatherman. Gets it done once again. So is this your first time out on the tracks, mate? Mate, I've never recovered anything except from a hangover. So <laughs> And you're going straight into the big jobs. Mate, all-terrain warriors truck. I always say throw your cruiser in the bin for a reason. <laughs> we'll have to paint you an orange one, mate. This is the bit where I hook my ute on. Yeah, mate, it was good. That was the magic. <laughs> Mixed 4x4 adventures. Mike's just watched it come through these whoops a few times and what are you doing here Mike? You're softening up the front a bit. Just um, going to try and get the front wheels to move a little bit easier. It's, um, it's still a fair bit of suspension not being used. These feel like bigger jumps? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the last uh, property. <laughs> these whoops are bigger than you think. from the future here. I just got home from testing that car. I've just had a zinger box and I actually didn't get around to filming an outro for the video. But luckily, I've got my buddy here, Whoa. Whoa. Uncle Jimbo. We have actually just finished filming the next episode, which is a very, very 
very top secret. Very. <laughs> nah, it's not really top secret, but it's going to be a very cool episode. So if you're interested in seeing Baz with a bit of fresh paint, then stay tuned for the next episode. Click, like, <laughs> click the like, subscribe and follow button and you'll know what happens next episode. In two weeks. So every fortnight, 4pm on a Sunday, Uncle Paulie. And Uncle Jimmy. And Uncle Jimmy next two Sundays from now. Yeah. Cheers.